Hi Fudgies and welcome to a special mystery subscriber Bunches of Lunches. Before we get started, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and don't forget to click the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. Now unfortunately you guys, YouTube did not send out notifications about yesterday's Bunches of Lunches episode. In that video I shared so many fun but easy lunch ideas so definitely go check it out if you missed it. And without further ado, let's get on to our subscriber lunches for the week. Lunch request number one was sent in by Miriam. She is 11 years old and is from Italy. And for her main dish today she chose spaghetti and meatballs. Now since Miriam is from Italy, I wanted to make sure to find the most authentic ingredients I could. So I went to Trader Joe's and I was able to find pasta and sauce from Italy. I was able to find some pre-cooked Italian style meatballs. I love that these are pre-cooked, it's going to make lunchtime so much easier. And then I even found some authentic Italian cheese to top it off. Now these meatballs are fully cooked but they are frozen so I'm gonna go ahead and pop them into the oven. <laughs> While the meatballs are cooking I just have to boil up my noodles and heat up the sauce. Now Miriam told me that spaghetti meatballs are something that her and her class at school eats all the time. She says it's very delicious and the sauce has a lot of juice and it's definitely one of her favorites. And now that I have everything combined, I'm just gonna to top it off with some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Moving on to the vegetable today, Miriam requested small carrots. So I was super excited when I found these guys at Trader Joe's. They are so tiny and cute. I'll go ahead and put a handful in the lunch box. And she also requested some mayonnaise to dip the carrots in. Next up we have the fruit. And she said that in Italy, both grapes and tangerines are very popular. So I'm gonna add both. Next up I'm adding one of Miriam's favorite snacks and that is cannoli. But I'm making sort of an easier version. Instead of making a traditional cannoli, I'm actually gonna make a cannoli dip with cannoli chips on the side for dipping. This is really easy. I'm just using some ricotta cheese cheese, some cream cheese, some powdered sugar, and of course lots of mini chocolate chips. And then instead of filling up cannoli shells, I'm just going to add some cannoli chips on the side for dipping. All the flavors of a traditional cannoli but a lot easier. That is one delicious snack if you ask me. Next up I am going to throw in a special treat and for this Mary requested some panettone. Now she told me that this is really popular around Christmas time and that it comes in lots of different flavors but for my kids I picked the chocolate chip flavor because I thought that they would like that the best. So I'm just going to slice a little piece out of this big loaf that way the kids can try it. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried this before. And then last but not least, I am going to throw in a special drink, which is an Italian soda. Now these are quite easy to find here in America and they do come in lots of different flavors. So I just picked the blood orange because that sounded really good. What was your favorite thing in today's lunch? I really like the cannoli cream. That was super easy to make. What about you, Lil? My favorite was a Missy drink. The Italian soda? <laughs> yeah. What about you, Jack? I really like the cannoli cream too, but I also like the meatballs. Subscriber lunch number two was sent in by Taylor. She's 16 years old and is from the UK. For Taylor's main dish, she chose a sandwich, but not just any boring sandwich, something really interesting that we've never tried before. For her sandwich, she requested strawberry jam with cheddar cheese. That is such an interesting combination. I'll go ahead and put a poll in right here. You can let me know. I'm definitely a big fan of sweet and savory things together, so I think it actually might be good. And then of course to make this sandwich extra fun, I'm going to use my little sandwich cutter. I tried to decide between big hearts or little hearts, and of course I went with the little hearts. So cute. So I'm going to get these little sandwiches into the lunch box and move on to the fruit. For the fruit today, Taylor chose grapes. So I'm going to put a good handful or two in there. And just for fun, I will add just a couple to this little heart pick. And then for the vegetable, she requested carrots. But I actually found this really interesting bag of rainbow baby carrots. So some look purple, some look white, some are the traditional orange color. 
I don't think these taste really different, but I do think that they look fun. For the snack today, I'm going to be adding some goldfish crackers, and I went with the rainbow ones because they're my favorite. And speaking of rainbow, for Taylor's treat today, she chose Skittles. It's been such a long time since I've tried Skittles. There are definitely so many different flavors, but I went with the traditional ones, and I added them to this really fun snack tube. This is meant for food and I can reuse it over and over for different snacks. For her drink today, Taylor chose good old OJ, which I've just added to this fun little bottle that totally reminds me of oranges. Okay guys, I think I know what your favorite thing was, but why don't you tell me? My favorite is the Skittles. I think your favorite was probably the orange juice? Skittles. Skittles too? Yeah. I really like the sandwich. It was a weird combination, but it tasted really good. Moving right along to our next subscriber lunch, which was sent in by Alexis. Alexis is 10 years old, and she's from my home state of California. Now for Alexis's main dish, she chose a sandwich, specifically a fried ham sandwich with just mayo. I actually think this sounds really good. It's kind of one of those old classic sandwiches. I think if I was making it for myself, I might add some cheese as well. For the vegetable today, Alexis chose carrots. <laughs> Apparently carrots are popular all over the world for lunch. There's gonna be a lot of carrots in this week's lunch. Now for the fruit today, she picked out strawberries, but I wanted to do something extra special with the strawberries. So I'm actually making them into smoothie pops. For this, I'm just taking some frozen strawberries. I'm gonna add those to my blender. And then I have these special reusable baggies to put the smoothie in when I'm done making it. And so yes, I'm just using frozen strawberries with a little bit of almond milk to get it all blended up nicely. Then all I have to do is add my strawberry smoothie to my little baggies and that's it. Next up, I'm adding the special treat today, which are going to be some birthday cake Oreos. And then on the side, I'm also adding a bag of these cheddar and sour cream potato chips. We have the drink for today. And Alexis chose some horchata. So I'm just gonna add that to this cute little bottle that is everything in Alexis's lunch. What was your favorite thing in today's lunch? I really like the strawberry tubes. My favorite was um, the sandwich. My favorite part was the Oreo. Our next subscriber lunch was submitted by Bella. She's 13 years old and is from North Carolina. Now the first thing on Bella's lunch request is quesadillas. So to make these, I'm gonna start with some uncooked flour tortillas. I love the uncooked kind. And then for the cheese, I'm gonna use this four cheese Mexican blend. I really love the four cheeses together. It's like a perfect combination. Quesadillas are definitely one of my favorite lunch items to make. They're so quick and easy. Now to go along with these quesadillas, I'm also gonna add a little container of salsa so my kids can dip the quesadillas in there. And then I'm gonna move on to the fruit. Alexis picked out blueberries. So I'm gonna put a big scoop in there. Moving right along to the vegetable, which surprisingly is not carrots. Bella chose celery. So I'm gonna add these right back here. And then I'm gonna move on to the snack, which is going to be popcorn. I love popcorn. It smells so good. It definitely makes me think of the movies. Next up, we have the treat for today. For this, Bella chose a Rice Krispie treat. Now usually I love making Rice Krispie treats, but I decided to take some help from the store. I picked these ones up at Trader Joe's. And these are actually made of brown rice. They're vegan and they're also gluten free. So if you're looking for something like that, Trader Joe's has them. Bella chose a juice box and I went ahead and added the apple berry flavor. I really like these ones from Sprouts. They have no added sugar, but they taste really good. And that's everything in Bella's lunch. Okay guys, what was your favorite? My favorite was the quesadillas. My favorite was some of the blueberries. Just over there. My favorite was the quesadilla. Our next lunch idea was sent in by Maeve. She is 18 years old and is from the Netherlands. So this guy is called Boterham met Hagoslag, which is basically toast with chocolate sprinkles. Now I believe that Hagoslag is the Dutch word for sprinkles. 
And this dish can be made with chocolate sprinkles or fruit sprinkles. Pretty sure my kids are gonna love this. Next up, I'm going to make something called a stompot. This is kind of more of a side dish, and it's usually made of mashed potatoes and then several different kinds of vegetables. So for this one today, I just added some cooked kale and some cooked spinach. This is definitely not something that we've ever tried before. Now for the fruit today, Maeve requested grapes, but she said to make sure to cut them in half, otherwise kids are not allowed to eat them at school. Next up, I'm going to prepare the sort of main dish of this lunch. And Maeve gave me so many different ideas, but I decided to make something called Frikandel Special. Now this is basically sort of a hot dog type meat. They're usually pretty long, and after they're cooked, they're stuffed with chopped onion, mayonnaise, and curry ketchup. Now if you guys have never tried curry ketchup, it is really good, but kind of hard to find here in the US. And there you have it. This is totally bunless as well, so if you're gluten-free, you can still eat this. Now to go along with this lunch, I'm also gonna be adding some cheese and crackers. And for the cheese, I'm definitely gonna be using some Gouda, but I'm pretty sure that Maeve would pronounce this Howda, because that's how they pronounce Gouda where she's from. And then I'm super excited about today's treat because I've actually tried these before and they are so good. These are Stroop waffles. These are basically two thin layers of waffle with a caramel syrup in the middle. So these are a very popular Dutch treat. And according to my research, what you're supposed to do is get yourself a nice hot cup of coffee or tea. I'm using herbal tea here. And then you place your soup waffle on top. And then the heat of your drink sort of warms up the caramel inside the cookie, which sounds oh so good. And there you have it. There's everything in Maeve's lunch. Okay, Kenzie, Jackson, and Lily, what was your favorite thing in today's lunch? I really like the stroop waffles. I love Howda. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jack? My favorite is also the stroop waffles. Yeah, those are so good. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.